pointer is found in the lumen of the trachea again. Um, the first layer of tissue lining the lumen is pseudostratified epithelium or it could be actually stratified columnar epithelium. We're now interested in that thick pink layer deep to that epithelial layer. We will go up a power and take a look at this connective tissue layer. It's cartilage, but it'll be obvious. This is another type of connective tissue. This is uh, considered supportive connective tissue, and it's called cartilage. Cartilage also has cells separated by a matrix. The pink that you can see is the matrix. The little white circly areas with the black dots are the lacunae with the cells sitting inside of them. And we'll be able to take a closer look as we go to the next slide. In this view of the slide, um, you can see that the tip of the pointer is on the pink area in between the cells. This extracellular material is what we call the matrix. In this particular cartilage, as we look at the matrix, uh, the fibers are not visible. We don't see easily fibers in the matrix. That makes this hyaline cartilage. Hyaline cartilage is recognizable because it does not have visible fibers in the matrix. In the matrix, we find lacunae. Lacunae are the spaces within which the cells reside. The tip of the pointer here is indicating a clear round lacuna. That's not the cell. The cell resides within the lacuna. When this tissue was living, the cell completely filled up that lacuna. However, when the tissue died, the cell shriveled within, uh, leaving an apparent space. The tip of the pointer now is on the, the cell of the cartilage, the cell that has actually produced the matrix. This cell, because it's a cartilage cell, is called a chondrocyte. Chondrocytes can be recognized because they are found in the interior of the cartilage and they are nice round cells. The tip of the pointer here is on another cartilage cell, but this one's not found in the interior of the cartilage. This one's found on the periphery and it's given a different name. This particular cartilage cell is called a chondroblast. Its job is to secrete cartilage and that takes place on the periphery while the chondrocyte that we looked at a minute ago maintains the cartilage and it's found in the interior. So look for chondroblasts on the periphery. We're now looking at a different type of cartilage on low power. This is elastic cartilage. Um, elastic cartilage has many elastic fibers in the matrix and they're visible. But to see those elastic fibers, we're going to need to go to high power. So we'll do that now. In this view, the tip of the pointer is in the matrix. And if you, as you look at this, and if you use your imagination a little bit, you can see some black streaks in the area of the matrix. Maybe not where the pointer is, but over to the right a little bit, you can get a bit of streaking in the matrix. Those streaks are elastic fibers, and they are actually more visible through the microscope than they are on this videotape. The tip of the pointer now is right on a visible elastic fiber. Um, you can get a hint of them as you look at the slide. It'll be actually more visible there, but in the matrix you find these elastic fibers and that gives this elastic cartilage an elastic quality to it. It springs back. Um, these cells, because they're cartilage, are also separated by matrix. They are spread out. The cells also reside in a, a lacuna. Here we see a lacuna with a cell inside. Remember that when the cell was living, it filled up the entire space that we see as the lacuna. But when the tissue uh, died, the cell shrunk. And so we get, a, we get a sense of where the lacuna is. The tip of the pointer now is on the cell within the lacuna, and this would be considered a chondrocyte, a nice round cell found deep in the interior of the cartilage. The chondrocyte is what is responsible for maintaining the cartilage that has been laid down. The pointer is now indicating a flat cell on the periphery of this elastic cartilage. 
that flat cell is a chondroblast, and that chondroblast is the cell that actively secretes the matrix of the cartilage. Remember that chondrocytes are in the interior, nice round cells. Chondroblasts are flattened cells on the periphery. The tip of the pointer now is on a layer of tissue that is just above the chondroblasts. This layer of tissue is not cartilage. The cells do not sit in lacunae. This is actually a layer of connective tissue proper. This layer of connective tissue actually surrounds the cartilage. Because it surrounds the cartilage, it goes around the outside of the cartilage, it is around the cartilage. The term is, it is the parachondrium. We've talked about hyaline cartilage. Hyaline cartilage, we can't see any fibers in the matrix. We've talked about elastic cartilage. In elastic cartilage, we can see elastic fibers in the matrix. There's one more type we're interested in, that is fibrocartilage. cartilage. In fibrocartilage, we can see collagen fibers in the matrix. Collagen fibers are pink fibers, relatively large in diameter. Um, when we see those in the matrix, we know it is fibrocartilage. On this slide, we can see two types of cartilage. We can see hyaline cartilage way over to the right, and in the region where the tip, the pointer is, we see fibrocartilage. The primary difference is you can see the streaky appearance of the collagen fibers on the left. Cells are sitting in lacunae in both sides of the slide, although they don't look exactly the same, but the fibrocartilage is on the left. Here, the tip of the pointer is on a chondrocyte uh, found within a lacuna in the fibrocartilage. You can see a hint of the lacuna around it. You can see streaks of fibers in between. Those are collagen fibers. On the right, you don't see any streaks of fibers between the lacunae. Because hyaline cartilage has a nice homogeneous matrix where the fibers are not. Here again, we see the, a slide where we clearly have two types of cartilage. On the right is hyaline cartilage. On the left, we see fibrocartilage. In the fibrocartilage, we see the collagen fibers streaking in the matrix, and on the hyaline, we just don't see that streaky appearance of fibers in the matrix. On both sides, cells are residing within lacunae. Even though they look different, they both are residing within lacunae.